Good morning, everybody, and thank you for stopping by my channel, Life with Patty. So today, maybe you see my apron has cupcakes on it. So you see we have the blender out. So you're probably thinking we're gonna bake something, and you are correct. Today, you guys, we are going to make banana split cupcakes. Yep, you heard me right, banana split cupcakes. I have made these before, so I'm not trying a new recipe out for the first time. These are so easy and so good, and everybody thinks, oh my gosh, you spent so much time in the kitchen. Well, I have that little, uh, what do I wanna say, that little maneuver to get you through quicker. So a lot of my recipes I call from scratch, and a lot of my recipes I call homemade. A homemade recipe to me is something that you're incorporating, something that's already processed, such as a, a cake mix. From scratch is something that I'm gonna do my own flour, sugar, baking soda, baking powder, that kind of thing, okay? So today we are going to be making homemade banana split cupcakes. All right, let me get my little recipe out here. Just to recap, I think I can pretty much remember everything, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start our um, cake mix, just as it says on the back of the box, in our mixer, get that going, and then we will uh, continue on with everything else we need to do, all right? All right, so we're gonna add one cake mix. Oh, also, preheat your oven to 350. I have already started that. All right, one white cake mix going in. The next is one and a quarter cup of water. Get that going. All right. And one third cup of vegetable oil. Any kind of vegetable oil is just fine. Oh, look at that. Boom. Used up the rest of that oil. I didn't know if I was going to have enough, so I took out another bottle just in case. And three whole eggs. I think I need to start a compost pile. I have never done that, but I think it's actually good once you make one and turn it over and stuff to use in your garden, that's what I've been told, so I might have to start one of those. All right, we are going to put this on the, on the KitchenAid mixer, on low, and let her go. So, now it calls for two ripe smashed up bananas. So this is great if you have extra bananas. I don't know if you're like me, but I make bananas every single week. Um, my husband likes to have a banana almost every morning for his breakfast, or with his breakfast, I should say. And so I always buy bananas, and then never fails, Monday is my market day. See, this could go in the comp uh, compost pile too. Huh? Um, Every Monday is when I do my grocery shopping, and by then I've got some ripe bananas. So I'm gonna smash these two bananas up. And put them right into that cake mix. Now, I'm gonna warn you, the sponge on this cake mix is a little dense. It's not as fluffy because you have the fruit in there. Okay, but it's still, it has so much flavor, it's so good. So, in goes our bananas. And back on low. And then it says to take four large strawberries. So my strawberries aren't really super big. So I think I'm gonna use six. Let me go get the cutting board.
And you're just going to chop these strawberries up nice and small and put it right into your cake mix. These strawberries were almost getting too ripe to be enjoyable, but they'll be quite enjoyable in my cupcakes, right? Don't have to be all perfect with these because they're just going to mix in and bake in. Okay. And then um, I'm actually trying to lose weight, <laughs> but I do promise myself one small dessert a day. And I usually save it for after dinner. So the rest of these cupcakes are going to go to my work today. I'm going to take all of them to work except for two. Okay. As that's mixing a little bit more, and I'm actually going to put it on medium now. I'm going to line my cupcake pans with some cupcake liners. I'm still into fall. I still have fall cupcake liners, but I mean, you know what? They're not going to care to work. They just want the cupcake. <laughs> They're not going to care if it's not spring cupcake liners. Why waste them, right? So this is what we're going to use. All right. Let's see how that cake looks. just a couple more minutes just because it's kind of a little bit chunky. So I've told a few people and I don't I haven't told a lot of people but my goal and I know this is a big goal and I don't know if I'll get there because I get kind of stage fright um, is I want to go on the Food Network channel for the baking competition and I don't know if I want to do like the spring or Christmas one because, man, those are hard for. But I saw a new one coming up with this just baking challenge, so I'm gonna check it out. It starts May 16th or 13th or something like that. So I like to bake and try out new things. So maybe in a year from now, I can apply for the Food Network. I don't know. Hopefully, that's my goal. My kids tell me I gotta speed up because you only get like 90 minutes or 60 minutes or and then they put that twist in it. <laughs> so and there's a lot of things I have never cooked before or baked before and uh, like cashew and different things. So stay tuned because I'm gonna start practicing all that stuff. And they probably wouldn't like me using a, a cake mix either. I have to probably use it from scratch. But I do like this recipe and um, so I just wanted to share it with you guys because it's so so fun for um, summer, you know, and you could use it for uh, Fourth of July would be a great time to use it. Okay, so this is ready. I'm gonna try this. Hold on, sorry. I got this. I got this new scooper. It's a large one. It's actually, I think, designed for cupcakes. But I'm gonna try. I mean, for cookies. But I'm gonna try it on the cupcakes. It's, that's the messiest part. I tell you is uh, getting this batter into the liners. I usually do it with a spoon and I get it everywhere, so it seems to be working okay. I'm still dribbling it all over, but better than I do with just a normal spoon. And I did get one of those oh containers that you squeeze it out like pancake mix, but it's for cupcakes, but then when you've got stuff like strawberry chunks in there, they get stuck in there, so you can't really use it. So, I say to put it about three quarters full. Some of these seem to be a little fuller than that. Um, I'm going to stop the video actually and let them bake at 350 
for I think it's about 15 minutes and then I'll check them when they've come out and they're nice and cold we'll come back and frost them so you now know that for the banana split you always have strawberries and bananas and vanilla ice cream we've got those three components in there right now and then when we come back the other two components will be in there as well okay so I'll see you back in a few minutes Okay, hi guys. Um, we have a slight detour. So I thought I had fixed this. I um, was told by a YouTube friend um, that I just needed to go in on a desktop computer and um, change my settings or ask for permission from YouTube to have a video that's longer than 15 minutes. So my video for my cupcakes, for my strawberry, or for my banana split cupcakes, was 15 minutes and seven seconds and it would not let me download it onto YouTube. So I'm gonna break it into two sections. So after you watch this first section, then look for section two and that's where we're frosting the cupcakes, okay? I'm really sorry you guys, uh, I know I can do it. I know it's possible because I see other people with longer videos than 15 minutes. So um, we got the password and everything that they text to me, YouTube did, for the permission to be able to go longer than 15 minutes and it didn't work so I'll figure it out but for now uh, banana split cupcakes will be in two parts so this is the first part and then look for the second part okay sorry for the inconvenience and I'll talk to you guys later